local, man. You know what I'm saying? You getting cheated on and shit, bro. No, but the nigga lazy. He don't got no ambition. And I told her this. Wait, like, how old are they? Uh, she's set, the, set the scene. Two years younger than me. Okay. That's old 30, enough to have ambition. She's 34. And he's like 10 years older than her. Really? So he's like 44. Well, you're done at that point. If you, you hadn't you been ambitious product. your whole life, right. then you're just there. You're there. It's over. And then when I first met this guy, and that's why I told her, I said, when I first met him, I asked you, why are you with this lazy ass old nigga? What are you talking to him for? Yeah. Like, what you, and she was like, no, we just may had a bond. And, and it wasn't that. She had just broke up with her last boyfriend who she was in for a, a, a relationship with for a long time. So this old lazy motherfucker was just a rebound. Mm. And she just took, took it too far. They've been together for like seven, eight years now. And now my little sister got a better job. Damn, he was she, old when they got together. Yes. Because well, he, he didn't become old. So he was 37 when they got together. And she was like, what, 27 then. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. So then, um, so that, now she got a better job. She's making more money. And they don't live together. And now she got a, she got a new apartment. Oh, did she just start making more money than him? Well, she, like he oh, had she previously? always making more than him, but they both wasn't making a lot of money. So it was still, it didn't matter. They both were just still broke, kind of. You see what I'm saying? Gotcha. But now she's making way more than him. He was probably just broke for so long because he's so old that he was like really good at navigating it. Yeah, she he's just like, used to it. Damn, dude, he he lives so rich. It's like, nah, dude, he fucking buys that bread from the dollar store. Yeah, <laughs> not even that, bro. We was on the phone, and this she like she knows not to tell me certain things. She said it. She was like, I never. She like, I never wanted to tell you this. She was like, but it's times where like she was like it's months where like we was in the crib with like no heat and no lights, and I'm like, why the fuck? I'm like, why would you be living like that? Like you, you got you got me. We got a family. Why would you be living like that? You see what I'm saying? She like, well, I mean, I just didn't want nobody to know that he wasn't like carrying us like that. And I'm like, but what you mean? You you should have dumped this motherfucker. You couldn't yeah. even afford like, a podcast studio, dude. Right. Are you like, kidding what? me? If you can't afford to keep your heat and your fucking bro, and this That's is how, when, yeah, you got to throw him off the boat. <laughs> you like, got. To. I didn't want anyone to know he was sinking the boat. It's like fucking <laughs> get him out of here. I was like, what right. do you mean by that? <laughs> like get him the fuck out of here, yo. So look, I remember like four years ago, me and me and him was talking. And I asked him, I was like, I said, where are you working at now? He was like, I'm doing security for my dad's security company. I was like, oh, all right, bet. And I was like, uh, he like, yeah, he like, I, he like, I might gotta find like another uh, another job or something. No, he like, this job don't pay me nothing. I said, for real? He was like, yeah. He was like, bro, I'm making like six fifty every two weeks. Yeah, bro. Security is also the easiest job to pretend you have. But here's the thing, bro. Six fifty every two weeks. Quit, dog. What the fuck? Yo, Yo you could make that money off of welfare every month. You could you could literally make twelve hundred dollars a month off if you just get welfare. Mm -hmm. Why are you fucking working for six hundred and fifty dollars every two weeks, dude? That's so eight funny. hours a day. Is he strong? Were Fuck they paying no, him? He's skinny as shit. That's the thing. He he was he was unqualified. They were paying him by the muscle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Why are there skinny security guards? <laughs> they were paying him. There what should is, never be a skinny security guard. Just because if you're Ever. like, it just gets all the murder out of their system. You know what I mean? Maybe. Like after that, you just want to kill anybody. It's crazy. There's like such skinny. Like there's some people that just like actually. There should be no such thing as a skinny security guard, or a super fat one. If you, oh, if you, if you, unless you like tall, unless you get both, you put, you put a real Ooh, fat guy next one? to a skinny guy, the skinny guy, like you put me next to a big fat guy and I'll be like, yo dude, you can't come in here or you have to deal with him. And then I point at fucking Jim Gillespie, mm. the two of us, dude, dynamic duo. Are you kidding me, dude? Absolutely. You mm. think Jim will beat you up, but he picks me up as a club. <laughs> <laughs> I just start using you as a weapon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't make a good club though. I don't, I don't. I don't look qualified to handle yeah, a baby seal. I don't think you're seal. firm enough. No. I, think, I think you'd be flailing all around. I think you'd be more like a leaf than a club. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like a slap bracelet. <laughs> You'd wrap right around. Right you just turn into a nigga belt. You just belt down. <laughs> I'm not a sidekick. I'm an accessory. <laughs> <laughs> I carry rust on my wrist. Sometimes he tells me the time. <laughs> uh, uh, yo. That's fucking awesome, dude. <laughs> Damn. I, I'd be such a cute little Mickey Mouse watch. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, yo? It sucks hearing it, hearing things from the girl side. Cause like my sister saying that lets me know like they all think like that. Or she hates this guy so much right now that she told her brother about sex she was having, extra sex. Wait, with, a, with another guy? Yeah, dude. She was she was telling you about extracurriculars. She was she alluded to sex. She said, we be doing a little something. She was like, but more than that, she was like, we really get along. She was like, and he helps me out. She was like, he gives me money. No, but I heard you on the phone. Damn, dude. She said that she was only with him for sex. 
wasn't she? Her old boyfriend, because he don't uh, do nothing else. Yeah, uh, like she said, the only thing she got out of him is just the physical shit. And it, it's not that the physical shit was good. It's just he didn't have anything else to offer. <laughs> yes. Oh, you know what she said? You know what else she said? She said he never lies. And this is where I come in to all the hoes out there that said, Naeem, you lied to me. You either me lie to you or be unambitious. You see what I'm saying? What you want? I could be lazy. It's true. What's, what's worse? Lazy or lie? You know what I mean? Which one is worse? Girls will fuck you still if you if, if you uh, lie to them. If you're too lazy, you, you get cheated They prefer it, I think. Well, what's, I think so, too. What's the lie with the ambition? It's like, I'm trying to succeed so we can have a good life together, but really you're just trying to get better bitches? Is that, is that what the lie is? Is your motives? No. My lies are, my lies are usually, uh, what? I don't even know that girl. You see what I'm saying? Like, shit like that. Mm. Like, huh? I didn't send that text. I had let Ben hold my phone when we was at the studio yesterday, and he was texting some girl from my phone. That's my, that was my lies, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? See, but that's the thing. It's like I think that you know, you you and your girl, you're you're on good footing. With me and my girl, it's like she could be too good for me at any moment's notice. Oh, like same. like she doesn't want me to lie about working on myself. She's like, oh, I, I'm just phoning it in right now. <laughs> she's like, I've already settled, Rusty. She's like, <laughs> I don't, don't have want to do anything. <laughs> she's like, don't you fucking look at other girls, dude? Or if you are, just tell me, and I'll wear makeup at home. Like, yeah. <laughs> No, me and my girl not on good footing at all. Cause she thinks <laughs> she thinks she the prize and she not. It's me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're on terrible. I mean, I've been sleeping are, at my house every day this week. We are on terrible footing right now. <laughs> and honestly, it's because, like I said, she think that she the one. It's like, come on, lady. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Mm. Can find another one of you. Can't find another one of me. You know what I'm saying? So true. Can't find ain't no uh, ain't no other Naims. So unless you live in Philly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to any boxing gym. Let's go to any boxing gym in Philly. <laughs> so this is what ambition me. sounds like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I think girls like lying. I think I think they prefer lying. Oh, they hate it when they catch you. You just gotta make sure they don't catch you in it. That's all. Just make sure they don't catch you in the lob. They love the mystery, dude. Well, you gotta keep them off they you gotta keep them off, you know, off balance too. Keep these bitches on their toes, bro. Look, be be super honest to her for fucking seven months straight and then just give it just a random lie. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't tell if that was like real relationship advice or if you just like crossed up your relationship advice with your boxing training. No. <laughs> like keep her on her toes, dude. Jab, jab, jab. Uh, that's, no, that's Chris Levels on her. Cause look, cause you know how many of my friends I know that were like good boyfriends, good husbands, and their girlfriend or wife got bored with them? You see what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, It, dude. it just happens. So you got to stay fucking, you don't know where I'm going to be at, bitch. Am I here or am I there? You see what I'm saying? Mm. Keep them on their toes, Rusty. Yeah, right. dude. We gotta not, get well, not, not Mallory, because she's good. Yeah, yeah, she's a good one. Really also, good. fucking, look at me, dude. <laughs> look at me. I look like if Casper survived to an old age <laughs> and somehow looks the exact same. Uh, you in here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and Ayo, actually, you see how real Rusty being about everything, yo? That's why he on this show. That's why we, that's why we brought him in here today, because we had to fucking... Triple up, quadruple up the facts for y'all. You see what I'm saying, mm -hmm. uh, dude? I'm a, I'm a bit of a fact hard. You know that. I, I know that for sure. Actually, we'll get to this a little later. Let me introduce the show first, because here at AOX, hey, <laughs> we bring you all the facts, everything you need to know, want to know, wish you knew, didn't wish you knew. Fucking hope that you could forget. That's what we teach you, bro. Mm -hmm. Teach you all those things here. And to my far left, I have the wise one himself. Benjamin Staub. Hello, everybody. Ah, ah, ooh. You know what's crazy is we were talking before about, like, do we ever have a black teacher? That's why AO actually is important for people. Yeah, see? You know what I mean? Black teacher, number one. You're That's all these people's first black professor. Mm -hmm. But we have a special guest today. Special guest. The one, the only, Rusty Wright. And hey. to start off with a quick, quick, uh, quick trivia fact, AO actually, Rusty came up with AO actually. He did. I did. This is his idea. This is his idea. <laughs> this is, we are living in Rusty's idea. Dude, I'm, I'm just like a creative cupid. Sometimes I just see like a match where I'm just like, hey, you know what? These guys, they would make sweet, sweet comedy love. You are good at that, bro. You are good at seeing good duos and how people will mesh together. You knew that Rob Cruz would fit Durag. You knew it. I did, dude. I fucking, I, 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 see, I see the blossoming friendships. And more importantly, I, I noticed that uh, Ben was just doing like a real real white version of things you were doing when you you would yeah. be like hey yo did you know this and then ben would come up and say actually did you know and he would say <laughs> <laughs> that used to be me and ben's whole conversation like before this podcast which is how this even came up our True. whole conversation used to be like yo did you know this yo no nah, bro did you know that that was just our <laughs> whole thing our whole thing was telling each other facts dude i saw you guys chatting at helium and i was like this could end racism like <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, it's one of my ideas to end racism. It's working. Uh, it's working my pretty other well, idea, draft, it is working. I think we should draft new teams. Uh, racial teams? Yeah, dude. I like that. S- send out like jerseys in the up. mail, dude. Yeah, let's mix up the let's mix up the your green team now, dude. Mm-hmm. I like that. Oh, just colors? Yeah, man. We just gonna sign a color? <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. I think that would really change things. I mean, I fucking hate the blue guys, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why don't it just be like a red and blue Don't jersey? Get me started mm-hmm. on the blues, dude. I hate the blue guys. The blues run Hollywood, dude. That's a fact. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> hey, yo, actually. Oh, stoked to be here. That's not a fact. No, it's not. We don't do Nazi propaganda. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> <laughs> blue lives matter, everybody. That's yes, what I'm trying to we say. love the blue lies. <laughs> um, all right, let's start with our, our first fact. Am I the first fact of the day? Yep, it's right. you, Benjamin. Start with the first fact. Oh, I have an AA read actually for the first fact. Really? Was this? Mm-hmm. So this is an image that, that's been circulating online where they say that when males reproduce, there's one, ma- there's one um, well, side note, a male whale is called a bull. Yeah. So there's one one bull that holds up his bull and her John. His John. Wait, wait, wait. So, it, so <laughs> did, did Naeem just throw his voice yeah, into right, your right. mouth? <laughs> You're like, so one bull holds this other bull's John. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So is the girl between two men, or is it a man holding up another man so he can fuck the girl? Yeah, a man holding up another. That's the myth. Is that a man uh, okay. holds up another man so that they don't float away? Is mm-hmm. like everybody's been circulating this. But Ao, hey, well, actually, what really happens is that. Whenever males reproduce, there's two males that are like in a inner wrestling intermingling event trying to fuck the girl. First. Oh <laughs> shit. That's way funnier. Yeah. Cause that just makes me picture the bull like putting his hand out on the other's forehead, like <laughs> just fucking <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> Big brother in him. It is crazy. And then also, whenever they're doing this, sometimes the the bulls will split off and then they do like contests to see who can jump like higher out of the water. Oh shit. You know what I mean? They so, run a combine. So they're doing that to see who can fuck the girl? Yeah. What? It's, it's crazy. And whales don't rape. That, they have consensual sex, right? Well, I have a, I have a second fact. Oh, <laughs> nice. Okay. Does it have to do with whale rape or no? Um, yeah, it man. Uh, I mean, just since we're on the topic, scroll down a little bit. First documented whale rape at, of all time came out recently. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> New whale raped. Oh, bro, what are we doing? We ruining the whales. Yeah, I mean, they're. Eh, I don't know. They're doing it to themselves. Scott. Here's the. Wait, scroll down a little bit. Here's the picture of but it. Is the first whale rape? They got a picture of it. First one that we know about. Scroll. I put a lot of whale facts. I, I thought we were going to. All right. Down. Just t- till you see the rape. Yeah, this is the first whale, whale rape. This is a rape? Time. This is a rape. Look she, at his dick. But she chilling, though. No, that's a that's a guy. <gasps> Whoa. What the hell? <laughs> you showing him a gay whale rape? It's the first gay whale rape in history. Wait a second. They're evolving. Dude started from the bottom of the ocean, dude. <laughs> Fucking. Where is he, well, where is he putting his dick inside of? Do they have, do whales have assholes? Yeah. So he gonna fuck him in his butt, bro? <laughs> no, dog, that's not right. This not ain't right. right. He's putting it in his blowhole. <laughs> they need to cut his dick off. Why he doing this? Yeah. But that whale signing... This will to a record coming out. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, oh, damn. <laughs> he gets a sick deal out of it. You should hear his whale songs. They're like beautiful. They will make you cry. <laughs> Yo. He really started from the trenches. The bear got a trenches. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Bro. It's kind of beautiful. But yeah, so they were saying NBC was, first of all, the article that like go up, I have the headline. They don't even identify this as a rape. They say humpback rail down. George, you are a monster. You know, you know how George don't know how to scroll, bro. He's an extremist when it comes to scrolling. Go down a little bit. Ready? Ready? Down a little bit. I hate what? you. Right there. All right. <laughs> so the article says humpback whales photographed having sex and gay sex for the first time. Mm-hmm. And then you read the article, and it's saying that that whale that's getting fucked was an emaciated, like, tired whale. Oh, no. That had sea lice. All this shit just a... A bull on hard times. You know what I mean? Damn, and so, the, so, so then the other bull was like, oh, this nigga weak. I'm fucking him. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy, Damn, bro. dude. He scooped up a vagrant, dude. Yeah, yeah. nasty. He fucked a homeless whale. <laughs> Why the fuck would he do that? Well, I'm happy that if it's the first ever, like, gay whale sex, like, if he was experimenting for the first time, at least he did it in the, like, not, like, with the other whales, you know? Yeah. He went off onto a corner of the ocean. He found a whale everyone forgot about, tried it out. <laughs> Uh, okay, so here's the thing. This is why I know that this is humanity's fault, right? Because you know, like, <laughs> this is our fault. Because you know, whales have, like, whales, they have, like, a, uh, uh, 
a more advanced limbic system than we have. Mm. So limbic they feel emotions is. way deeper than us. Yeah, it's part of the brain that does emotions. Yeah, that does oh. your emotions. Yeah, okay. so they feel emotions way deeper. Than, and so much so that scientists think that they have like something called like pod emotions. Like your whole pod feels the same thing at the same time. Really? Which is why, yes, which is why like if you take one wheel out the pod, you'll hear them going crazy. Even if you you could be thousands, the, the wheel could be thousands of miles away and it'll be still, they'll be making the same sounds at the same time. Whoa. So now, so this is my thing. That must be getting cut off if they out here raping niggas now. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> like they must not all feel the same shit no more. Whoa. They, they, they start to have individual feelings now. They grew beyond the hive mind. Yes. Kind of. Interesting. Which has to be our fault, bro. Damn. That's how we are. We we don't. I don't feel what you feel unless somebody like does something to you right in front of me. Then I'm like, wait, why the fuck would you do that to Ben? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But like, other than that, we don't have it. We don't all feel the same shit. So they're becoming like us, bro. True. It's one hater hater well that's how like one of his friends got harpooned, and then the whole pod was like, oh my god, look, yep. we just got harpooned. He's like, no, you fucking didn't. No! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Right. He's like, I could rape anybody in this pod if I wanted to. Damn, he was just the first one, the first uh, whale born without group emotions. Yeah. Like, why y'all crying? Fuck him. <laughs> Ugh. Dude, what if it's just because, like, the Republicans threw all that, like, gay drag queen propaganda in the ocean? Yeah. The whales got their hands on it, dude. It could be that. Oh, it could be the gay water. Dude, it could be gay water. That it's the same water that turned the frogs gay, you think? Yeah. If yeah. enough water. <laughs> you know what I mean? It found its way to the ocean. It could yeah. be weed. I heard weed could turn niggas gay. You said weed? Yeah. Because mm. it, it lowers your testosterone. Does it? Yes. You didn't know that? No, but that's good to know. But here's the thing. So when you smoke weed, it lowers your testosterone, but then when you quit, your shit fucking shoots through the fucking roof. Really? Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Interesting. Damn, that's dude. Good. So my, my gross spurt might still come. <laughs> uh, yeah, you quit smoking weed. <laughs> You go get hit with a ton of testosterone, go fully bald, <laughs> just dude. And be six foot three, that'd be nuts, dude. My my fucking my body's like George scrolling. It's like fucking like baby face, baby face, bald. <laughs> <laughs> you skipped, yo. You skipped, you skipped your twenties, dude. I absolutely skipped my twenties, dude. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I said something the other day where I was like, I think it's my baby face. My girlfriend was like, you haven't had a baby face since we met. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's the worst when you still think of yourself how you used to be, bro. That happened to me before. Bro, I went home. I slept in my old bed recently, and mm -hmm. I, I felt like I was like trying to kidnap myself. Like I felt like I was waiting <laughs> in my bed for me to get home. I was like, <laughs> I felt like the big bad wolf. <laughs> what, yo? Interesting. <laughs> Damn, bro, that's wild. Oh, another whale fact within this article is that um, Damn, dude, I know I went, I went crazy on this one, but whenever they're competing, like one of the reason, so like the female whale will mm -hmm. like um, they can hold their breath longer, so like they'll she'll stay underwater longer to see which whale can hold his breath longer. What? That's kind of like how they get pussy in the whale. Well, community. you know what? I guess if you try to reproduce with the best one, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And that's why whales can swim underwater longer because like the best breath holders. Yeah. You know what I mean? They the ones that reproduce. Yeah. Dude, they have it down to a science. Like humans, we flash money and shit. Like you talked about that on the mm -hmm. fucking podcast, like money and clothes and shit. Yeah, whales, that's they're bullshit. holding their breath and jumping as high as they can, Hell dude. yeah. It doesn't work at the I used to just hold my breath underwater at the swimming pool all the time. No bitches. Nobody. <laughs> no, no bitches care about that, bro. Yeah, that's up because Every time you came out, the lifeguard said, get back in there. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine if, fucking, if that's how we had to get girls, though? Like, yo, let's see, yo, let's see who could jump the highest. Let's see who could hold their breath the longest. Yeah. Let's see who could run the fastest. We should do that. Yeah. It kind of, it kind of is, though. If those were the different things no, girls were into, like, it's like a tits or ass I thing. mean, maybe in, like, high school, though, I guess. Girls don't care about that. If you can run fast and jump high? That don't get you no bitches unless you want like the football team yeah, or basketball the football team. Oh, but you're just saying in general. Yeah, in general. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, you just not on no team. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, yo, I want to fuck her. I want to fuck her too. Come on, jump off right now. <laughs> dude. <laughs> I'm focusing only on the lung capacity chicks, dude. I'm not, yeah. I'm not pulling any jumping girls. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's not my strong suit. That's crazy. We got to use fucking money and shit like that, bro. Mm. All right, I, I feel like I hogged up the um the first fact. Wait, of did the did the, the gay rape whale did did it also fuck chicks? Do we know that? Was I mean, it, it was emaciated and had lice. Like, no, no, when, when, it, no was when it says having the sex and gay sex for the first time, did it do both, uh -huh. or or are they one in the same sex? Uh, I don't know. Whales don't kiss and tell, really, man. I don't. I don't know, bro. I didn't say <laughs> the article. <laughs> it's just useful for a whale. I'm not sure. I, if I had a surmise, though. I would assume they're both the whales that can't hold their breath that long. I mean, and this one is yeah. old because it says he, that's how you get whale lice. They get whale lice from losing mobility. 
So he must be he must be old as shit. It's just so different if the the whale who raped was able to get whale pussy or not. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, is this a whale who's like like, sh- an, incel? like an incel whale? Yeah, yeah. or a power hungry whale? Yeah, yeah. or it could or, be. Yeah, just wanted a challenge. Mm. Damn, bro, that's crazy. <laughs> you probably could fit inside a whale ass. You probably could fit your whole body in there. Yeah. Hmm. I better not fucking swim the That'd be really <laughs> scary when the dick comes in, dude. <laughs> Just oh, pushing you all the way in. Oh. We probably all could fit in there at the same time. Yeah. That might be the gayest thing you ever said. <laughs> hey, yo, actually, gayest thing you ever said. I didn't say uh, we put our dicks in there. I said our whole bodies. Well, yeah, but guess what's attached to my body? <laughs> <laughs> if I'm going, my dick's coming with me, dude. I'm sorry. Okay, maybe that is kind of gay. I just was thinking about things. <laughs> thinking about where we could fit on a whale. That's all I was thinking about. <laughs> Dude, that's fucking the gayest version of Pinocchio ever. <laughs> <laughs> He's swimming in his ass. <laughs> it's the part Jonah didn't talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you had a real boy in your ass? Gay. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, I like this fact. This fact comes from Gunnar Adelison hmm. or at HeelCrazy9981 on Twitter. Ayo, it should say Ayo actually, not Ayo, Naeem Ali. We'll let him slide. We'll let you slide this time, bro. Next time, we're skipping your fact. <laughs> hey, well, actually, in the 1950s, the CIA actually used homing pigeons for spying on Russia. They put automatic cameras on them and released them from planes over Russia. They then fly back to Europe with the cameras with the cameras full. It didn't really work that well, though. So <laughs> They mostly picked up footage of seeds. Yes, I was about to say, I think you can Google these images. It's literally pictures of nothing. It's just, blur- <laughs> it's just blurs, bro. <laughs> There's nothing important on any of these fucking pictures, bro. There's one of Mike Tyson somehow. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is my best friend. <laughs> Check it out. Uh-huh. Dude, that's that's just some military Ben Staub somewhere. They were like, yeah, dude, you can, you can help us with this war. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the crazy thing is... The gov- you know, the government gives, like, crazy money to, like, dumbass programs like this all the time. And then... It's like Shark Tank. <laughs> yes. And then what happens is, so they have some guy, they have, like, a, um... Like, basically somebody that runs the budget who, co- who like, looks at all the different programs and, like, okay, these three were dumb as shit. We cutting these three next year. But if you look the shit up, bro, it's so many dumbass, like, government programs. And that is so funny because someone in Russia probably saw, like, a pigeon with a camera on it and was like, God, there's fucking pigeons with cameras yeah. out there. They're like, yeah. you're losing your mind. Hell He's like, no, yeah. I fucking swear to God, there's pigeons with cameras. <laughs> in Russia? Loses all his friends. That technology was so advanced, dude. They were like, that's a UFO. <laughs> <laughs> true. <laughs> That's definitely true. They definitely all these things were UFOs. Hundred percent. Wait, I want to see the pictures that the picture got. Yeah, uh, do they have any pictures? Of, the, I saw pictures. The pictures on Pinterest. I don't know if they're on here. I think that's one of them right there, ain't it? That's one. Which one? Yeah, that one with the tank. Yeah, that's one. That's pretty good. Yeah, that, that for a pigeon. That's a pretty good. picture. No, no, he's no. That's not one. That's not one. That's him releasing. The yeah, it's a out human the holding the pigeon. Yeah, he's holding the pigeon like. <laughs> yeah, this. if that's the pictures they got, they did a terrible job, dude. They went the and made pictures friends. Are way worse than that. The pictures are way worse than that. I don't know if there's worse job you could have done than making friends with the Russians you were supposed to spy on. <laughs> just a bunch, just a bunch of well, you guys get it. Just a bunch of blurry shit. It's pictures of like, it's pictures of like just a corner of a rooftop. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah it's like if you send my mom. They sit. Yeah, it's wherever they sit at. That's that's the only thing they're taking pictures of. Yeah, pictures are like trying to get the scoop on anything. No, they're not like flying into like government <laughs> buildings and shit. <laughs> like, I'm gonna take pictures of these documents. The fuck though. They did do a lot of. They tried to like the military really wanted to do something with pigeons. They did. They, they, and dolphins. They tried some shit with dolphins. Yeah, that didn't work. Well, it's probably hard to spy in like poor or like nations without like a lot of technology and stuff. Because like yeah. we were just saying, like they. Probably thought the pigeon with a camera was a UFO, you know? Like, yeah. You can't just send like a plane over Russia. They'd be True. like, that's the Americans. Yeah. True. You know about the pigeon guided missile? You got to just send a homeless guy. Mm-hmm. You know about that one? Yeah. You know about that one? Pigeon guided missile? The pigeons guided the missile? Mm hmm. They would like, the BF Skinner taught pigeons are like, he'd like, if they pecked a picture of a ship, he'd give them a seed. So then wherever they pecked would like guide the missile. So they started like being trained to peck only pictures of ships. So like hypothetically, a pigeon was at the front of the missile. He would like peck towards the ship, and that would hone. Mm-hmm. You know, dude, fucking people back then were retarded, dude. <laughs> they, Everything, they nothing were. could be simple. Everything had to be mousetrap, dude. They were <laughs> yeah, like fucking yeah. a bird flies over, it gets fed by a man in the park. <laughs> <laughs> the man throws his newspaper out, it triggers a missile. It was like the Flintstones. Yo, dead ass. <laughs> Just using animals for fucking normal everyday shit. Like a little bruh. 
that was before we had like vegetarians and shit to be like, you got to be nice to that animal. True. We were looking around and we were like, how can we fucking use this? Yeah, dude? how can we use these bitches to kill people? It's true, dude. But like, you fucking, <laughs> you see a tiger, you're like, I'm never gonna build a sword as sharp as that. Fuck no. As sharp or that can climb trees as fast, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hell yeah. I wish I could train. I used to wish I could train animals. I used to watch this show called um, Beastmaster when I was a kid. Hell yeah, dude. Remember Beastmaster? Respect. Bro, and he could control the animals and shit. He put his arm out, fuck a hawk land on him. Then he'd be talking to his little lion homie because I'm going to go chase somebody and shit, bro. I was like, <laughs> I wish I was that type of bull. Just controlling all the animals. Oh, yeah. The best power in the world. Hell yeah. yeah. The best. Rusty, you got your fact? Oh, you, yeah, you got, Rusty? So, you guys have been doing a, a lot of theme park stuff lately. I don't know if you can tell by looking at me. Bit, bit of a carnival man myself. Bit nice. of a carny, dude. Mm -hmm. uh, now, I was reading the other day about a roller coaster I had never heard of before. You guys ever heard of the Euthanasia Coaster? <laughs> no, what? So, this was... Uh, you can Google Euthanasia Coaster. This was designed by some dude at some university in London, right? The idea is that it's several loop-de-loops that are specifically designed that by the time you finish the roller coaster, your brain has been completely deprived of blood. <laughs> what? He wanted to open a park where, like, so if you, you wanted yourself. to, yeah, if you wanted to fucking kill yourself, you could come fucking... I love that. And that <laughs> right out in style, dude. That's the best way to die. I love that. Because, bro, that means you're going you gonna to be on one of these, you're going to pass the fuck out. That's the best way to go, bro. This is great. They should make this a thing. They got to give you a picture at the end to put on your casket. Yeah, right. That would be great. <laughs> they got to make this a thing. <laughs> Just do, do you on those funeral shirts that everyone wears? Hell like, yeah. fucking rest in peace, dude. We got another angel. You got a memorial and also a keychain if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, a euthanasia coaster. That's hot. Imagine being the fucking pimple faced teen scraping the kids out of the coaster. Right, ew. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, where does the car go? <laughs> yeah, right. I it just got loose back to the. I wouldn't even build an end on it, dude. I'd roller coaster tycoon that shit. Yeah, they should fly off into the air. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they should just load them into caskets, dude. That's how you get yeah. in. Yeah. <laughs> they just fucking. That's a great point. Like, I could build a roller coaster that kills people. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. Fucking... Yeah, you need to be an expert. <laughs> 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 oh man, but getting a loop de loop to death is pretty pretty That's on the brand. Best. Yeah, yo, because you're literally just gonna pass out. Yeah, first loop you're like, maybe life's worth living. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have so much fun on the first loop. <laughs> yo, <laughs> all right, we've got shit and kill. Oh up. man, sorry, you must be this tall to die. <laughs> Damn, bro. And if it, like you get stuck upside down, you're like, can you please just bring me a rope or something, dude? Like, I got it. <laughs> yeah, they tie you in by the neck. That way, if it does get stuck yes. upside down, <laughs> just hang yeah. automatically. Hell yeah. Well, see, uh, they should let. I don't know why euthanasia is illegal. You should be allowed to die if you want to die. You you can't make. You shouldn't be allowed to force people to live. Mm. But what about if you're not no. sick though? Just if you want to. You should be allowed to die. Yo, listen. If you are a if you are in your right mind, even if you're not in your right mind, and you feel like, yo, listen, I want to die, bro. You should be allowed to fucking let, let this nigga die. Why you got to live? Just That'll make no sense. You can't force somebody to be here. I think there should That's at crazy. least be like a permission slip set up. Like if you can get like 50 people close to you to sign. Uh -huh. Like if you could show up like with a cast signing of mm -hmm. like all your closest friends and family, they're like, yeah, no, we don't need it. No, them. I feel like if you're an adult, you can you should be able to allow to die where you want to die, bro. I don't know, you, but if there was are. like actually suicide booths in life that you could just walk into a die, way, way more like people Futurama. would do. For you growing up, yeah, like Futurama, you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. I probably right would have. I'd have done it years ago. Yeah, because you're gonna be like driving me like, God, just give me a sign. And you, you see one <laughs> you of the, see booths, the yeah. suicide booth, you're like, fuck it, of course. <laughs> they're like suicide park, dude. You're yeah. like, fuck uh, yeah, dude. They, bro, I remember one time, I remember I was in college, I found, I was, I found out that the girl I was with had fucked one of my friends, like, before me and her got together. And okay. And I, I left, I mean, bro. Wait, the girl you were with had fucked? Oh. Like, one of, one of my homies. In the past. Yeah, yeah, well, like, the year before. So, he was my homie, but he was going to Kutztown the year before I got there, and they fucked the year okay. before I got there. But he never told me. So, I, so she's my girlfriend. Oh, I and you're still out. friends with him? I wasn't, yeah, I was. While you were dating her? Yes. He Bro, that's it. not a friend. He should have told That's not a friend, you. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, damn, that's fucking salty. So then I remember I found one of my other friends, my homie Mike, told me, he was like, oh, you know they fucked her. I'm like, God damn. Did you say salty? Salty. Salty. Oh, salty. I heard salty, like Saudi Arabia. I was well, like. I'm not going to say salty. I'm not going to put on <laughs> more rusty. <laughs> I was like, damn, dude. Multiple that's too, much, that's too many. That's too much enunciation. If rusty. you need help, I got rusty. I'll be here for you. Yeah, you got <laughs> my translator right there. Let you know, bet. <laughs> so then, look, look. So then, I left. I, 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 so my homie Mike told me in the student union building, right? And bro, I was about to go back to my dorm, and as soon as I walked out of the student union building, it like 
it's like the sky just opened, just start pouring down raining. Like as I was walking back to my oh, after my you door, just found out, bro. I want if it was a suicide booth in the path from the student union building to my dorm, I'd have killed myself for sure. Yeah, if there was a semi truck like, oh, like, passing, God, hey, yo, this is the sign. <laughs> yeah. It's raining on me right now. What the fuck is this? You're like, I either just got X Men powers or I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> Right. Either my emotions control the weather, or <laughs> I'll never see the sun again. <laughs> right. I'm like, what the fuck? Damn, Wait, dude. What how did, did you th- find out? Who told you? My friend Mike told me because he thought I knew already, and he was like, "Damn." He was like, "Damn, Naeem, you crazy as hell, bro." And I'm like, "I'm like, for what would I do?" He was like, "For messing with the joint." I'm like. I said, "How I'm crazy? What you mean? like? What's so crazy about me messing with her?" Ugh. He's like, "Bro, you know, you know why you crazy." I'm like, "Bro, like, what's so crazy about it?" And he's like, "No, you know Lee fucked her, yo. You know he fucked." And I'm like, "I ain't know that, bro." He was like, "No, nah, you you ain't know that for us. I said, "I ain't know that." And he was like, "Bro, my bad, bro." I'm like, "And you're in love at this point, kind of?" Yes. Yeah, bro. You know what it was. This girl. This is why you don't trust. This is this is a good character building for you. It's more like cunt. This is like an origin right? story. I got so many, bro. That's the that was the beginning. Of, that's the beginning of why I didn't trust. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, bro. The thing is, she technically she didn't do. She did something wrong because she should have told me too. They both should have told me. Yeah, it's your friend. Yeah, they Come both should have told me. Did 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 your boy have like a reputation of like fucking? Like pissing on girls? Like why is it like, dude, you're fucking a you're it's wild your friend, for that. Man, you don't want to be in love with someone your friend. Yeah, fuck. you can't. Yeah, like you can't be in love with a girl that fucked you. That has friend. a cosine. <laughs> no, I put it like I'm this. Kidding, put it like this. You can do it if you know that she fucked your friend. That's your choice. You see what I'm saying? But if you don't got, you should have a choice. You should be able to. You should be able to choose if you want a girl who fucked your friend or not. Got you. See what I'm saying? I got you. You can't just do that. And then as far as my homie go. When I went to him, I said, dog, why the fuck wouldn't you tell me? Like, what was that about? And he was like, bro, like, you really liked her. I didn't want to ruin it. And I'm like, no, I wouldn't really liked her if you told me. If you told me, I'd be like, oh, all right, I'm a fucker and then just keep it pushing. You see what I'm saying? Like, you let us build the bond. Like, what the fuck was that? That is pretty funny. Hell yeah. It's funny. It was, put it like this. It was funny, like, probably three weeks later. Because then three weeks later, um, his girl... Well, he started messing with some John that lived in Philly. And it kind of like we had vice versa situations. Like, he's messing with John in Philly. But, but I wasn't snaking him because as soon as he told me, like, oh, yeah, I met this John, isn't that? And he showed me her Facebook. This was before Instagram was out. It was only Facebook and MySpace out there. He showed me her Facebook, and I was like, oh, shit. I said, dog. I said, see, I said, look. I said, I'm not no snake like you, nigga. I said, I hit like two years ago. I said, so don't get serious over it. He was like, damn, for real, you hit? I said, look how you get to make that decision. I said, look, <laughs> see how you can make a decision, and I can't? I said, see damn, how you get to dude. Do that? Yeah. Me? Meanwhile, you didn't hit. If, if I was you, I'd be every single <laughs> I person, dude. Every, I should have. I should have said about every girl. Like You're like, damn, dude, she'd be perfect for you if I didn't have sex with right, her. Right, if I had already <laughs> fucked her. You know what I'm saying? Damn, should have checked the Carfax. <laughs> the Carfax. Should have checked the girl Carfax on Carfax. that. Girl, check the Carfax. It's fucked up. To all the guys out there, don't ever wife no whore, bro. Mm-hmm. Damn, dude. Yo, can I can I rapid fire? Or actually, no, wait, we're spreading this out, right? I gotta go oh, yeah, slow. I gotta do a fact. Yeah. You got another roller coaster fact, though? I, I brought like mad theme park facts, dude. I like it. I'm theme parked up, dude. Right. I like it. All right, I'll, I'll save my, my favorite. I have my two favorite this facts of all time for later. This was quick. Hello, guys. That's the end of the fucking free episode. We, sorry, we had to sell out. We need. We did sell out. We did. We need money. We this, need things. We don't want. I don't want to have to. Me and Ben Stop have day jobs. Do you see how silly we are? We're going to get fired any day now. So I we, am almost fired almost every day. Same. Yeah. So we need to figure out a way to make money. We do film at three a.m. and it is cutting into my sleep schedule. Yes, we film so late at night. We 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 research facts while we're at work. I got pulled into the office earlier today and they said Naheem. Why are you looking at all these goddamn facts all day? Do your fucking job. And I was like, all right, I'm sorry. So I'm going to get fired. So because of that, the rest of this episode is on Patreon. This is like PBS going behind a paywall. It is, but <laughs> it's only... It's like Elmo with an OnlyFans. What is our membership? Two, three dollars? Come on, bro. Y'all got three dollars to pay for the fucking... <laughs> three bucks? Three dollars is nothing. Do you know what you do with three dollars? Huh. A gallon of gas is more than three dollars. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. A pack of backwoods, more than three dollars. Pack of bacon, bro. I know motherfuckers that eat a pack of bacon in one sitting. Raisin bran, six dollars. You know what you're talking about right now? You're like, we're in a mass inflation. 
Yeah, no, bye, 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 bye. But three dollars, bro. Everybody got three dollars to see the rest of our fucking episode. Like, come on, you're not gonna learn these types of facts, and it's and and it's extra funny. So watch it. Just pay three dollars to watch it real quick. Mm-hmm. But yeah, y'all, click on the Patreon link so you can see the rest of the episode. It's very funny. You don't want to miss it. We said some very inappropriate things. I told secrets about Shane Gillis. <laughs> Look it up. Click on the Patreon. Oh yeah, it, it switches to secrets. Secrets is the up. That's the Patreon. It's all secrets about all the people that we respect and admire. So tune in. Click on the fucking link. Do it now. Subscribe.